One of the most common reasons people use Smartlead is its incredible automation capabilities. So let's just walk through how you can take any positive response you get and automatically move that to your Google Sheets without using any code and with a Zapier integration right in the middle. I'll walk you through that piece by piece. Now, step one, with Smart Lead, you actually have a lead category segment. Um, you can fetch that straight from your account and then your settings. It lets you create a combination of positive neutral and negative response sets that actually lets you work out sentimentally how your leads are responding and you can have multiple different types of categories that are positive some that are negative and so on and so forth now once you go ahead and do that we also have all our replies that actually automatically drip into our master inbox there's two ways these can be categorized as interested not interested one is you can actually let our ai categorize that for you so pretty much it's automated end to end with you, without you touching a single thing. And the other one is you actually have an inbox manager, a master inbox manager in this case, who marks through these things. So what we're going to do is I've preset a few things over here. You want to go to the webbook section, which is again, right over here. And then in the webbooks and you want to create a new webbook, just click on add webbook. Now for the demo purposes, I've already added that. I'm going to call it Zapier test two, and I'm going to fetch a webhook URL from Zapier. The way I've done that is I've come to Zapier, I clicked on create a new Zap, I've clicked on the webhook experience over here. Once you click on the webhook experience, it's gonna tell you, do you wanna catch hook? You're gonna say, yes, I wanna do that. Then after you click on catch hook, we'll just go through that experience, I click on continue. It'll say, pick a child key. We don't have a child key in this experience, so we don't need to worry about that piece. The so smart lead gives you the whole naked uh, JSON uh, without any nesting, and then we click on continue. Now, just preemptively before this call, I made a, a request. So I just copied this URL, just copy that, go into the webhook and just pop that in over here. And what I've done is I selected from the event type, a uh, drop down lead category updated. So whenever lead category is updated and is updated to either information request, positive interested, medium request, any of the positive intents, go ahead and send a response of the data to this particular endpoint, which is this Zapier endpoint. So you can see you get a copious amount of very valuable data from the lead ID, lead email, you also get um, the history, the entire conversation you've had with the lead. So everything is easily available, completely extracted from Smart Lead itself. You've got the campaign ID that from the two, uh, the lead category ID, the meeting category, uh, the category uh, text itself. Um, everything that you want is already fetched and stored for you in one single place. So what we can do, and just to give you an, another example, right, is you can just go ahead and maybe just from go from meeting book to another positive intent message, maybe it's information request, and then that would also be picked up over here if we did another search. So I'm just going to click on continue for this particular case. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select G sheets um, because that's what we want to track. And then after that, just connect my appropriate G sheet. Um, and the event that I want to effectively do is create a new spreadsheet row. Basically, I want to pull information in uh, from uh, you know the Zapier uh, webhook that we picked up and just add new rows into our spreadsheet. That's at least what I want to do. So I'm just going to click on continue. I'm going to click on my account. I'm going to continue the action. I'll just pause for a second. So all I did was I just um, selected the drive, selected the spreadsheet that I was after, um, and select the worksheet. In this case, I just created a spreadsheet before on Google Sheets, and I had a few variables, just the lead name category, latest reply, message history, and category ID, just stuff that we already got from before. And it's super, super straightforward. So the lead email is pretty much going to be you know, the lead that has responded. Uh, the category is going to be, let's just go ahead and pick that up, meeting booked category. That's what we want. Uh, the latest reply is actually also given to us and we're just gonna go find that very quickly. So we have the last reply email body um, and I think that's what we want. Yep. And we can also grab the entire message history if we want. That's the entire array of data that we picked up. So if we want to do that, we'll do that. I'm not doing that for this one. And we're also going to get the category ID because that might be some information that we want to actually collect. And that is, if we just cancel category ID, that's a lead category ID. Great, we got that. And I will click continue. So that means whenever something happens, we push that data accordingly to G Sheets and we'll just test this to see if this actually works. And let's give it a second. Did it go through? All right, looks like it did. Let's just check this out. Okay, boom, it actually went through fine. Now let's actually try this out in real time for another uh, campaign that belongs to SaaS Outreach. So we're gonna go over here to this particular lead and this is 
let's just say lead category is interested. That means this person is keen. And let's see if we'll push it. I actually didn't publish this, but if I publish it, it would work. Um, so yeah, that wouldn't work right now. So I'll actually publish this. Great, so it's working just fine after I published it. We're just going to go ahead and just uh, do this as an example for you. We've got another person who was interested. Um, we can go ahead, uh, whatever that is, and I'm just going to go ahead and change that to, so this, just for your preference, um, there's just two over here. And this is called info. And I'm going to go there and just click on meeting booked. So the second we do that, boom, in a second, it pops through. Um, and we're sorted. And we've just basically automated uh, all positive intent responses. And like I said, the really, really cool part is if you actually go to the campaign itself, right? And you click on the edit section and you go to the settings. Oh, let's give it a moment for new data. You click on edit over here and you go to your campaign settings and you let Smart Leads AI segment actually categorize these things for you, then pretty much from the very beginning all the way till the end, it's completely automated for you and all the data will show up in your external sheet for your own maybe HubSpot or G Sheets like this we have over here, completely automated. So that is the power of Smartly. That is the power of this automation. You can go ahead and go wild with whatever you want to do. If you've got any questions, obviously feel free to reach out to us on chat support. Otherwise, have a fantastic day and I'll speak to you soon.